All right, here we go. We're going to look at this uh, practice wiring board. This is not a professional looking board. It is homemade here in-house, but uh, there are better boards out there with more options for troubleshooting and such. Uh, but we made this one real simple board in order to start out students on the basics of circuits and the fundamentals of our control wiring and uh, in an air conditioning system. So uh, what we got here, we have 120 volt uh, high voltage power source and that's going to go for our light bulbs to represent uh, our uh, fan motors and heat strips and you know we have our low voltage thermostat with the terminals underneath we have a contactor with a 24 volt coil we have a indoor fan relay with a 24 volt coil we've got a heat sequencer we're not going to use that right now we have a multi tap transformer so uh, We've got it set up for the 120 volt to 24 volt step down. Uh, and these terminals right here, uh, the black and white are gonna be our 120 volt and neutral. That'll be our main power source. So uh, I hope that uh, if you're watching this video as a beginning HVAC guy, first semester student, um, depending on just where you are, this is not an advanced thing. This is more for the beginners. But um, I'm gonna take an assumption that you already know the basic wiring scheme. We know that R is our 24 volt power. We know that common is the other side of that power. We know that G is for our indoor fan relay coil circuit. Y is our compressor contactor coil circuit. W in a heat cool setup like we have here, W is for our, our heat relay circuit uh, or if it's a furnace, it'll be, you know, ultimately for your gas valve, but uh, that's going to be our heat side there. So I'm only going to deal with the cooling portion and the fan portion. So we're going to be using G and Y uh, and just the contactor and the indoor fan relay. But uh, I'm going to walk through and I'm going to wire um, just one thing at a time and, and let you see that. And uh, it's easy to understand. Um, I use this board to demonstrate series circuits, parallel circuits. I use it for voltage checks, you know, just how to check across a relay, um, the other side of power, things of that nature. But uh, we're just going to work with the wiring right now and show you how I do it. Uh, one thing that I tell guys coming into uh, a, a beginning semester is to, when we when we get this far and get some of the fundamentals down and the wiring scheme, uh, the wiring scheme down, uh, when you're looking at this HVAC system you have two power sources typically you're going to have a higher voltage and a low voltage so in our field we typically say that low voltage controls high voltage that could be a 24 volt power source controlling a 120 it could be 120 controlling a 240 and it could be 240 controlling 460 so but typically a lower voltage controls a higher voltage so where do we get our low voltage our low voltage power source comes from this induced voltage we get out of a transformer so this red and green right here, this is our power source for 24 volts. And one person has control over that, and that's gonna be our thermostat. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna give power to the thermostat and let him turn on everybody. I mean, that's the convenience we have in our homes now. The thermostat turns on the heat, turns on the cool, the fan, you know, everything, you know, it just keeps you comfortable. Most people have it set in automatic. You set your temperature and, and you kind of forget about it. So we're gonna wire this up. I'm gonna walk through uh, each circuit. Uh, you can pause and replay or whatnot, but uh, it gets a little confusing when you get all these little plug and play uh, wires on here. So just follow along and, and you should be okay. So I'll try to keep it simple. Power comes out of here uh, and you have to think about, you know, a highway, you've got two lanes to it, right? We typically say there's one side of power and then the return side. So. What I try to get across to new guys is a little, a little ditty, a little saying. We start at power, we go through a control, which is a switch, we go to our load, and then we return back to power. Always start and end a circuit at the power source. So we're gonna walk through this, we're gonna power up. Uh, we have a thermostat, a digital thermostat, that's a load. We have a 24 volt coil in our contactor, that's a load. We have a 24 volt coil in our indoor fan relay, that's a load. So we've got three loads here and we're gonna walk through how to do this. So we start with low voltage first, or I am gonna start with low voltage first. 
power comes out of our transformer here and it goes one place into the thermostat. So you can see I've got power on R from the transformer and what I'm going to do is use yellow as the other side of power. So from power, there the thermostat and the transformer itself on the high the primary side, they don't have a control. So it's power to the load and return to power. So power comes from the transformer into the thermostat. Power's one, you know, it's the power sitting there and we have to complete the circuit. Uh, excuse me. We have to complete the circuit. I'm going to use blue here uh, for that, but uh, common goes back to the other side of that transformer. So you only have one wire coming out that's 24 volt hot, but you'll have multiple wires returning back to the 24 volt common side of things. So uh, I've got two, two short pieces that I've looped together just to kind of keep them out of the way, but we've got R and C that powers our thermostat. If I were to go and, um, of course, once I hook everything up, I can turn just the, the thermostat on. So it is wired. That is its path. Very simple. We use thermostat wire in a real in a real house, but uh, this replicates that. So uh, if we continue with G, right? So power sitting here, the thermostat has it, and what does it do with it? If I want to turn the fan on, well, the G terminal is responsible for facilitating that. So this G is power coming out of the thermostat, right? and it's going to go to the indoor fan relay. So so I'm going to use this yellow wire, right? We're going to have power coming out of G. And I know it's a little weird using a yellow wire on something G that people refer to green, but we're going to come out of G and we're going to go into, into our 24 volt relay into the coil. The other side of this coil goes back to common. All right. So once again, I'm going to tie two shorter wires together, but we're going to have a common and it's going to terminate at the transformer. It starts at the transformer ultimately on this red wire, turns into G, goes to the coil and return back to the common there. Okay. If we are messing with the compressor stuff, right? If we're in cooling, that Y turns on the compressor contactor. So we're gonna use Y to go to our compressor contactor coil. All right. So this, this yellow wire right here is gonna go to the compressor contactor coil. All right, so there it is right there. Y from the thermostat to the compressor contactor coil. And the other side of that circuit is the return path back to the 24 volt transformer. So our low voltage is wired there. If I were to take real quick, I'm going to wire up the primary side. Black to black, white to white on this one. Okay. I don't have any high voltage on right now, so you can see that the thermostat is now displayed. I have power to that digital device. It has power to work and operate. If I turn the fan from auto to on, 24 volts is gonna come out of this and energize the low voltage coil on that relay. And you can hear it clicking on and off, energizing those switches or energizing and closing those switches. And that's just for that fan relay down there at the bottom, okay? Uh, if I turn it to cool, then it's going to energize the indoor fan relay and the compressor contactor circuit. So, and you can see and hear it click. All right. We don't have any high voltage hooked up, otherwise the lights will come on. But that low voltage will control that high voltage power once we wire in the switches to those relays. So, with that done, uh, what I've done over here, let me turn the power off. safety first okay uh, in order to get that high or excuse me in order to get that low voltage what we have what we have to do is we have to power the primary side of the transformer so uh, we have 120 volt wiring set up here and I've got my 120 volt 120 volt power source so what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring L1 power here it's going to go into the transformer primary winding and come back out on the neutral and return back so that's what I did just a second ago 
and uh, there you go. You can see the black for the power coming in goes to the black wire on that transformer, and the white, the neutral, will return back. All right. So very simple. All of our other loads, these uh, light bulbs that we simulate a compressor with, the indoor fan, the outdoor fan, everything starts at our L1 here since this is a 120 volt wiring practice board. Everything starts here and it's going to end here. All right. So. So what we'll do, we'll start with the uh, we'll start with the indoor fan on this one, okay? We're gonna make it gonna make it a little bit easier. I'm gonna use the green, okay? So I got a green wire here. We're gonna start at L1, and we're gonna come down here to our indoor fan. And if you know anything about this 9340 relay, typically the way that I use it is gonna be I come in on terminal three. So I'm gonna look down here and find terminal three, and I'm gonna apply the L1 power to it. All right, so now I've brought power to that relay. It will sit there on that, that side of the switch until the thermostat energizes the coil and changes the position of that switch. When that does happen, it's going to come out of terminal one, which is right here. Okay, so terminal one is coming out and it's going to go in to, uh, to our load, to our light bulb. And on the indoor fan, we have the neutral, in this case, or the other side of power that goes back. So we started here and we end here. There's a matched amount of wires off of that power source, okay? So if I were to go and turn the power on, you can see that when I, now that I have the high voltage to that, uh, that replicated fan over there, right? That my, my simulated fan, when I turn and energize that circuit, 24 volts comes out of G, energizes that coil on the indoor fan relay, and that in turn closes a switch where this power comes down and passes it across the one to three connections into the light and the white returns back, completes the circuit. So that is on, okay? For this next one what we'll do is we'll take and we start at L1 we're going to do the compressor and the outdoor fan so here's our contactor right here so L1 is going to come in it's going to go into this is a one pole contactor so we're going to bring power into the switch side of this contactor into the the bottom of that pole so L1 comes in and it's going to go across that switch all right it's going to come out right here and go to our compressor. Now, unlike the indoor fan, a contactor has two sides. It has two lanes, okay? So when I return this one back on the neutral side, I'm gonna bring that to this second side of that contactor. All right? Even though it's a straight shunt, uh, there's no break in that circuit, it is still, uh, it's still best practice to do this. You you don't need to go straight back to the power source. So. so there we go. So that neutral comes back here. It goes across. And we're going to wind up taking it there and there. All right. Now the good thing about the, the compressor contactor is that you power two loads off of that. We power the compressor and the outdoor fan at the same time. They're both used off that one relay but I don't need to rerun these two wires for the same the same circuit, right? The same setup as that outdoor fan, okay? What we're going to do is we're going to say that L1 comes here just like normal, it's already there. You don't have to rerun it. But we are going on the output side, we are going to a different load. So I'm going to take out of that switch all right? going to go to our outdoor fan and once we get to that load we start at power we go through a control that switches our control we get to the load which in this case is the outdoor fan light bulb and then we return back so that's going to be our neutral here and I come back to that other side of that contactor on that straight side and I've already got the wire pre-run okay to complete that circuit so 
once we turn everything on now, you should see that uh, by taking your time, wiring the low voltage and then the high voltage, uh, and you could do it uh, the other way, high voltage then low voltage, but take your time in looking at these circuits and understand how they're being run. All right, so now we got the full thing, okay? So thermostat's on now. I've got, when the thermostat comes on, you know you've got high voltage to the transformer and that makes the low voltage, right? It induces that voltage, so uh, that's a pretty good indicator, right? We're gonna turn the fan on. That one light bulb should come on. That simulates our indoor fan. We've turned it to on. So if I turn it back to auto, it goes off. Now I'm gonna turn it to cool. Ah, when I get cool, I energize the Y and the G circuits. So I have the indoor fan ultimately coming on, and I also have the contactor bringing on the compressor and the outdoor fan. So um, this board is working properly. It's wired correctly. Uh, and from here, we could do some voltage checks, uh, some troubleshooting steps uh, if you wanted to. But uh, that's ultimately how easy these boards are. It's easy to understand the principles. Okay, so uh, if you have any questions, let me know.